Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking to you about the new Apple TV that was released um, yesterday, March 16, 2012. Uh, they had one that came out a couple years ago, and uh, I actually got a couple of them here. And uh, the difference from the old to the new is uh, 1080p. It's a full high definition 1080p uh, resolution to your screen, so now you can buy uh, 1080p um, movies in iTunes on top of uh, you know some of you may rip your original blu-rays that you buy at home or that you buy from the store come home and rip them to your computer I'm pretty sure if you do a YouTube search on how to rip blu-rays to your computer uh, they will tell you so I'm not gonna get into that technical aspect of it but um, also you know how like when you buy a blu-ray and it comes with a DVD and digital copy you know all that digital content uh, when you put that disc in your computer and upload it to your iTunes library, now you'll be able to see it on your television with Apple TV. So basically, whatever's in your iTunes library, you can see on your home television. Not to mention if you own an iPad or iPhone, whatever you're looking at on your iPad or iPhone, you can wirelessly send it to your te television via your Apple TV. It's called AirPlay. So I'm going to unbox it, get in real close, and then after that I will airplay something and get into the features of Apple TV itself. So, uh, yeah, for those of you guys that have watched my other videos, I'm kind of taking a different avenue here. I'm doing some uh, tech gadget stuff as well because I buy all the stuff. I just never thought about talking about it. So um, those of you guys that aren't interested in this, I apologize. And um, But, yeah, I'm taking a different direction. Not that I won't do the other videos anymore, but, you know, I'm also going to try and do some of these. So with that being said, I'm going to switch the camera angle so you can zoom in and you can see the Apple TV and we'll, um, I got a little razor blade here, so we'll open it up and go through it together and then we'll explain the difference between the old and new and get into some of the features and stuff like that. So um, this one came out March 16th. That's the main thing is that it's 1080p. I would say that's the only difference and um, to give you that full high definition resolution on your 1080p display. And um, okay, so let me zoom in and focus it that way you guys can uh, can see better okay right. you guys so we're gonna get uh get this new one open here I'm sorry give me a second alright so anyways um first of all from uh, I have an old one here the 720p one the new one is 1080p you can even see it on the side of the box I don't know if you can see that it says right there 1080p HDMI and then Wi-Fi and then the old one it just says HDMI and Wi-Fi so that's how you could tell right off the bat the new one says 1080p and then on the back the old one just has one picture and the new one you know it has the new menu and you could also see them playing a game because they're air playing a game to the TV so that's how to tell right off the bat make sure you get in a new one this is the new one on the right hand side but uh... and then yeah here's another new one that I opened already but we'll unbox one So. Anyways, here we go. So this is the new Apple TV came out March 16th, and the difference is that it is 1080p. Now from 720p to 1080p, people always ask, is that a big deal? Can you tell? Depends on what kind of TV you have. Like if you bought a, you know, a 50 inch 1080p TV and um, you know, 1080p LCD screen. TV, whatever you want to call it, you know, and you paid three hundred dollars for it, uh, y you might not notice the difference. But if you have a decent television, and uh, I can tell, and I, 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 I'm very uh, anal. Like I could, I could tell the difference. I pay attention to detail a lot. So to me, it's a huge difference. But for some people, it, it, it may not be. But this is the only one Apple is selling now. Anyways, they've uh, discontinued. They're no longer offering the 720p one. Anyways. So it's just a high def, a better high def signal. So take it out, slides out like this. The Apple TV, you know, looks like that. So yeah, so the Apple TV looks like that. That's one thing about Apple is uh, they don't waste any space. They, <laughs> they're uh, very good about packaging their items. They do not uh, use excess. Excess. So, anyways, here's the Apple TV. It comes wrapped in plastic. You take it off and take it out just like that. Comes wrapped in plastic and uh, what does that say? Important, please read software license agreements. Okay, we don't care about that. 
And then around here is like some black tape because it's a glossy black and in order to protect it, they put this around there. So anyways, you peel this off, pretty simple, straightforward. And with that, it, review, re, it reveals the uh, hookups in the back. So you have an optical out, you have your ethernet port if you're able to hardwire your line and uh, it has an HDMI. It also has a micro USB and the space for the power. Uh, micro USB, I've never used that to date. Um, I'm not sure exactly what that's used for. An optical out, you know, that's for your sound, but if you're using HDMI, that carries your picture and your sound, so that's what we'll be using today. An Apple TV, they call it like a hockey puck. You know, it's black and small, it's kind of what it looks like. So mainly Apple TV is just a, uh, it's just a conduit, it's a window. Whatever you have in your iTunes library, with Apple TV, you'll be able to see on your television. So one thing about it is you're gonna need a computer on. So if you have a lot of movies and music that's on your iTunes library, that computer's gonna ha it's gonna need to be on with iTunes running, and then you'll be able to see that content to your TV. So it's not gonna work by itself. You won't be able to access all your movies and shows and music and whatever's in your iTunes library with a computer off. A computer has to be on running iTunes. And with that, then you'll be able to, and networked to your uh, home network. Then you'll be able to see it on Apple TV. Now, if you don't do iTunes, the only thing, you, you'll be able to use like YouTube or you'll be able to go to their iTunes store and purchase or rent shows or movies on top of, it has Netflix, but once I get in front of the TV, then we'll discuss that. So, to access content on your iTunes library, a computer has to be running with iTunes, and that's the only way you'll get it here. Also, remember you can AirPlay. If you have an iPad or an iPhone, whatever you have, whatever you're looking at, whether it be pictures or videos, you can wirelessly send it via AirPlay to your Apple TV, which will now display on your uh, <clears throat> on your TV and that's great because if you go on vacation or you have wedding photos or something of that nature and you have people over rather than passing around your iPhone or iPad in order for them to see the photos you just touch the screen and then it'll wirelessly send it to your Apple TV so now everybody can enjoy it on your big screen TV so anyways here's the unboxing so there's that and then uh, I, I, I like the remotes it's uh, it's it's like a brushed aluminum. It's 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 very nice. It's like a brushed aluminum with like rubber and black, and it's menu, play, pause, and then you know your directional up, down, left, right, and then uh, I like it. Although I never use it because I I use Logitech Harmony remotes, and Logitech Harmony remotes get gets rid of every remote, so you only need one remote, no matter how many components you have. You could have control up to like 15 components or something like that. But I'll, uh, that's another review with something else, but I'll show you guys that a little later. But this is nice. It's a nice remote. It's thin. It's sleek. Uh, very, uh, very nice design. So anyways, in the box in here, you pull up, and that'll reveal your power cord and then your setup guide. So we don't need any of that here, and I'm not even going to use this remote because, like I told you guys, I have a Logitech Harmony remote, so I never use the remotes. So I have a couple of them in my house. I have a couple of Apple TVs. Total, I have three, you know, in different rooms. Family room, bedroom, and then a spare bedroom that I have. And then, um, so all it comes with is a power cord. So if you're going to buy one of these, make sure you have an HDMI cable so you can hook it up. That's the only video out. You can't use component, uh, S-video, or composite, nothing. The only way you're going to get video out of this is via HDMI, which... You know, if you're looking at this review, you probably have a high-definition television, which allows you an HDMI input. So if you buy one of these, you're going to need, need an HDMI cable. If you buy an HDMI cable, I will tell you right now, do not get one from your local store. Go to monoprice.com. Trust me, they're 10 times cheaper, and they're great, high-grade quality cables, and they come to your house in, in like two days at the most. Shipping is cheap. You know, we're talking $3.00. $2.60 for a 12-foot HDMI cable, high-speed, able, uh, you know, the latest specifications able to uh, transmit 3D, a 3D signal. So monoprice.com, 
it's a lot cheaper. I'm telling you, $2, $3 for good, great quality HDMI cables. And believe me, I'm a dork. I know all about cables, and that's where I've been buying my cables at least for 10 years or something like that. So, anyways, here's Apple TV. So, uh, I'm going to switch over and show you guys my iTunes. Uh, actually, I'll just do it and move the camera, if you don't mind. I'm not even going to edit this, just so you guys can see. So, you know, uh, there's Apple TV. We'll plug that in later. So, I'm going to move this over here. Now, since I don't like having my main computer on all the time, this is what I did. I have a netbook that I rarely use because I mainly use my iPad. And I have a netbook here. And I'll touch it there. And then um, I'll back up a little bit for you. And then cut that on. And then there's my iTunes library. So all my movies, shows, whatever I bought, digital copies whatever the case is running on my netbook so usually if I'm home my netbook is running with iTunes up and then I just generally just close that and then just have it going all day that way I don't need my main computer on sucking down a lot of power and stuff like that because again to access your iTunes library with Apple TV you're gonna need a computer on running iTunes the latest version so that's what so, I do I'm gonna go set this one up and we'll go airplay some stuff and uh, so if you buy Blu-rays or movie, yeah, if you buy Blu-rays, you'll notice it says, uh, you know, 3D Blu-ray, Blu-ray, and then the digital copy. Well, those digital copies you can now see on your Apple TV if you, you know, open it up, take your Blu-ray, have it here, open it up, and you'll see the different versions in there and then the one that says digital copy. You take the digital copy, Put it in your computer, make sure you have iTunes open, iTunes will recognize it and it will ask you for a password which is here on the inside. You give it the password and then it will take the movie off of that disc and digitally put it on your, uh, and it will make a digital copy of the movie and you'll have it on your computer inside your iTunes library. So with that, you'll be able to now see it on your TV with, that, with iTunes. Because remember, whatever's in your iTunes library you'll now see on your um, television with Apple TV. So that's another great way. Now you could also uh, purchase movies in iTunes and purchase shows and stuff like that. So if you want to take the digital copies and see what's on your, you take your digital copy and see it on your TV, that's how you do it. You have to have iTunes running and then have Apple TV and then you'll see it on your television. And it's nice having it there because if you want to play it or watch it, you don't have to go look for the physical disc, but if you want the best picture quality, then obviously you just want to play the Blu-ray in your Blu-ray player. So I'm going to set this up and then we'll go down there and we'll go over some of the features and I'll airplay it and uh, set that up and, and show you guys that. So, okay, let's check that out. You guys hear that talking? That That's a new um, voice to text thing they've added on the new Apple TV. So anyways, when you first plug it in and set it up, it's going to ask you what language, you know, English connecting now it could be hooked up via Wi-Fi or it could be hooked up I'm gonna go to no thanks it could be hooked up Wi-Fi or it could be hooked up via Ethernet if you um, have an Ethernet available me I hardline everything into my stuff so mine is hooked up via Ethernet so again so if you want to see what's in your iTunes library see how mine says computers right there home sharing that's where you log in you put in your information and now whatever's in your iTunes library you can now see on your television let me zoom back a little so you guys can see everything there same with your music but for TV shows and uh, movies directly from iTunes so you don't have to have your iTunes computer on but if you just want to buy movies and stuff like that from the iTunes store the same as you would on your computer you're able to do that here and as you can see it brings up a very nice selection so the menu is very nice it's in 1080p it's high def it looks great it really does 
So pretty much that's that's the new Apple TV. It's the same as the one that came out uh, like two years ago or something like that. Except for the menu is different. So if you have the old one, you know, the one that came out like a year or so ago, they actually have an update where you could have the menu like this. So if you have, you see there's Netflix, there's YouTube, Flickr, um, you know, there's movie trailers, NBA, MLB, NHL. You can all access it here through Apple TV. Now I'm going to go and put in my information so I could see my home network and uh, turn on home sharing and then I'm also just gonna mess with the settings and um, you know as far as like what slideshow and stuff comes on so I'll be right back. Okay now that I've set that up and I've signed in you know again so on the left where it says movies you know you can access the iTunes store without having your computer on that's completely independent as long as you have the internet you could rent and buy TV shows and movies that so that on the blue is movies there's TV shows so everything you see in this menu right here except for where it says computers in green on the right you can rent and buy and you don't need to have iTunes running on a computer now if you want to access the content in your library that's where you'd go to computers right there you hit that and then you know movies TV shows podcasts stuff like that that's where you'd see it and that's what it says there music movies and you know I have movies that I bought and there it is by category you know I have action and uh, Columbiana Dark Vengeance you know Girl with the Dragon Tattoo Immortals all that's all stuff that I bought or had the digital copy of and you see it there and then we hit Immortals and hit play and it'll start to play off of that netbook remember I showed you guys my netbook because that's where my movies are stored and it's running uh, iTunes so that's how I can access that at any time. So once it starts up right here, as you can see, it's loading the progress bar. It doesn't take nothing but a second, and then there you go. Now the movie's starting. So we'll hit menu to back out of that. And uh, that's the new Apple TV, so we'll go into settings just to show you that this is the new one that has 1080p. We'll go in, we'll go right down to where it says audio video. And then we'll go all the way down, TV resolution. And then you see right up there at the top it says 1080p. So that's the main difference with, uh, you know, the new Apple TV. So now we're going to airplay something. I'll show you that real quick and then that'll be it. We'll be all done. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and uh, I'll show you some of the airplay features. So anyways, airplay is to take anything from your iPad or iPhone and to wirelessly send whatever you're viewing or looking at here to your television. And in order to do that, you need an Apple TV, which we're talking about, and uh, an iPad or an iPhone. And you have to have Wi-Fi wi in your house and your Apple TV can be hooked up two ways. It can either be hardline via an Ethernet or you could hook it up via Wi-Fi. But you have to have Wi-Fi in your house and everything has to be connected to your home network. So once you have that set up, you know, then it's pretty simple. So I'll take and uh, have my iPad here. Let me go ahead and unlock it. And then uh, I was looking at some pictures. So anyways, to uh, go ahead and airplay something, you just touch the screen and it brings up your menu. And you could probably see, you know, you touch the screen and then you hit this icon right there. And then it on mine it says family room or master bedroom. You know, because I have a couple different Apple TVs in here. It looks like it'll only show two at a time. And because uh, I have a total of three Apple TVs in my house. But I'm going to hit um, family room. Oops. So I'll hit, uh, let me bring that up, hit that family room and then it should bring it up there and then there's the picture so I'll move it and then it changes there now what's good about that you think about it let's say you go on vacation like I mentioned before or uh, wedding photos or just pictures or video from anywhere and you might have people over instead of passing around your iPhone or passing around your iPad you can now just show this way 
and it's a it's a very nice feature and it puts it right on your big screen also you could play movies games and other stuff like that and also send it to your Apple TV or if you go to someone's house and they have an Apple TV and you're like hey you know me and my wife on our honeymoon hey I'll show you guys the pictures and then you pull it out and then you can go ahead and show everybody on um, from your iPhone on their Apple TV you, instead of passing around the phone so it's nice so what I'll do is I'll go to a uh, movie um, let's see first let me let me touch this let me take yeah, back the iPad okay so anyways I'll go to videos and uh, real steel the movie real steel okay so I bought it and uh, we'll hit play and we'll do the same thing we'll just select family room okay now here all three of my rooms show up so I guess when you're playing video all three will show up family room master room spare bedroom because I have three Apple TVs in my house so anyways I'll hit family room and then it's uh, syncing it and it's sending the information over it takes a little longer than pictures because video is obviously it's a lot more and then there you go So anyways, to take it off, you just touch again, hit iPad, and it'll bring it right back to your iPad. So, you know, pretty simple. It works. It's nice. And uh, that's using AirPlay with your Apple TV. So remember, the only, the only difference between the old Apple TV and this one is this one's able to do 1080p, which is high definition. So the pictures look a lot better. The pictures and video look great. And in order to get your content from your iTunes library, whatever's in your iTunes library, if you're buying or have bought movies or rented shows or music or you have, um, you know, the digital copies, how I showed you when you buy movies and that goes into your iTunes library. In order to see that on your Apple TV, your iTunes has to be on and running on a computer. So your computer has to be on, how I showed you. If not, you won't be able to see that content unless you have it on your uh, iPad or iPhone itself and then you can do a uh, AirPlay how I just showed you and you don't need the computer on. Just whatever's off of here can AirPlay there without the computer. Or if you go in into some of the other stuff, you know, Netflix, MLB.com, you don't need the computer on. You only need the computer on if you want to access the content on your computer, music, movies, and, and so forth. So anyways, that's the Apple TV. I like it. Um, I buy a lot of shows and I, I buy a lot of movies. And I also get a, uh, I buy a lot of movies from the store. So I get a lot of digital copies. So it's nice, you know, uh, people here or when my niece and family members come to visit, they can access the content on my iTunes library from any room in the house. And it, it's a really nice feature. So... I like Apple TV. It's good. It's cheap. It's $99, and uh, you can order it from Apple.com or, you know, uh, Best Buy. You know, they sell, they sell it everywhere, so it's not a big deal. So, anyways, that's Apple TV. Any questions or anything, go ahead and uh, let me know. I'll, I'll try to answer them as fast as I can. Thank you. Also, you guys, before I forget, so I'll show you how to do games and other stuff, which is called mirroring with your uh you know with your ipad to to your apple tv it's not only videos or um pictures or music that you can airplay you can mirror whatever you're doing on your ipad so what you're going to do is take your ipad and uh press the home button twice to bring up that menu under there and then you hit that and then you see how it says mirroring off or on let me get in close okay mirroring off or on so i'll cut it on and then now, whatever my iPad does, you can now see on the screen. So I'll zoom in a little bit. Hopefully you guys can see. And I'll try to manipulate it from back here. So basically, whatever my iPad does, you can see. So you see the icons there, bringing up the search. And uh, I'll, bring, I'll put on a game, like let's say Angry Birds. And then now you see Angry Birds. So
So I'll just launch one really quick. And there you go. So that's mirroring. So not it it's not restricted to just videos and pictures. It's whatever you have on your iPad. So we'll get out of that. And as you can see, as I'm manipulating this, it does it on the screen. So it's not too bad. It's pretty cool. Settings. So that could be good for uh, numerous reasons. There, you know, you might want to play games at home on a bigger screen so everybody can see. But that's mirroring. So I'll just go back in and then I'll cut off mirroring. And then now it's just restricted back to TV and video. So anyways, there you go. Any questions? Go ahead and ask. All right. Oh yeah, and just to show you AirPlay uh, with music. So you're playing your music. Same thing. Bring up where you want it, family room. And then now it'll play it on the home theater system in my family room. And it even gives you a nice description in the lower left corner of your TV of who you're playing and a picture of the artwork. So it's pretty cool. And then you go ahead and cut it off. Back to iPad. And there you go. All right.